In this video, I will be teaching you how to add, subtract, and multiply polynomials. So let's take the example of 4x cubed plus 4x squared plus 3x plus 1. This is our first polynomial, and we want to add another polynomial, which is 3x cubed plus 4x squared plus 6x plus 2. Now what we want to do when we're adding polynomials is we want to match like terms. So for example, 4x cubed and 3x cubed are both like terms because the power of x in both cases is the same, or it's 3. So what we do here is we add the coefficients. So we take 4x cubed plus 3x cubed, that gives us 7x cubed. Then we can add 4x squared and 4x squared, which gives us 8x squared. We can take 3x and 6x, which gives us 9x, and we can take plus 1 and plus 2, which gives us plus 3. So that's simple enough. When we're subtracting polynomials, we take a very similar approach. Let's say that we have the example 4x cubed plus 6x squared plus 2x minus 5 and we want to subtract the polynomial 2x squared plus 4x squared minus 6x plus 3. Now in this case, once again, we want to match like terms. So for example, 4x cubed and, well, this should be 2x cubed, I'm sorry, and 2x cubed. But we also want to keep in mind the minus signs. We want to remember that we are subtracting them. So what we do here is we take 4x cubed and we subtract 2x cubed. So we subtract the coefficients. 4 minus 2 is 2, so we get 2x cubed. Our next like terms are 6x squared and 4x squared. 6 minus 4 gives us 2, so we get plus 2x squared. Plus 2x and then minus 6x plus 2 minus negative 6 gives us a value of 8. Because when you subtract a negative number, it's the same as adding it. So we get plus 8x. And then we have minus 5 and plus 3. So negative 5 minus 3 is minus 8. And this is our answer. Okay, so adding and subtracting are simple enough. All you really need to do is match like terms and then either match or subtract them as we need to. Now let's move on to multiplying polynomials. I'll start out with a very simple example. I'll say that we have two polynomials, x minus 5, and we want to multiply this with the polynomial x plus 3. So in multiplying polynomials, our approach is slightly different. What we want to do here is we want to multiply each number with every other number. So what I mean by that is we want to multiply x by 3, or by x and by 3, and then we also want to multiply 5 by x and by 3. So once again, we're multiplying every single number with each other. So let's work this out. Let's say we have x times x, that gives us x squared, and then x times 3, which is plus 3x. Then we have negative 5 or minus 5 times x, which is minus 5x, and then we have negative 5 times 3, which gives us a value of minus 15. And we can simplify this to be x squared minus 2x minus 15. Let's look at a slightly more difficult example. Let's say that we have the polynomial x squared minus 2x minus 15, so the same one as above, and multiply it by x minus 2. So once again, what we want to do is we want to multiply every single number on the left side with every single number on the right. So for x squared, we multiply it with x, giving us x cubed. Then we multiply it with minus 2, which gives us minus 2x squared. For minus 2x, we want to multiply it with every number as well. So we multiply it with x, which gives us minus 2x squared. And then we also multiply it with 2, which gives us plus 4x. For 15, we want to multiply it with all the numbers, so we take 15 times x, 
which gives us minus 15x, since this is negative 15, and then minus 15 times minus 2, which gives us minus 30. Now we just want to simplify this to get our final answer. So x cubed, this is our only x cubed that we have, so bring that down. We have minus 2x squared and minus 2x squared. This gives us minus 4x squared. We have plus 4x minus 15x, which gives us minus 11x, and then we have minus 30. So just as a quick recap, when we're adding and subtracting, so when we're adding and subtracting, what we want to do is we want to match like terms and then add the coefficients. And when we are multiplying polynomials, then what we want to do is we want to multiply every single number or every single factor on the left by every single number on the right.